trying to control his means of production. <laughs> That's a Marxist sin, right? Um, so guys, I, I do, you know, this is a feminist, a positive night, so I'm going to talk about something very unifying, which is obviously Brexit. <laughs> um, no, uh, uh, my friend, my American friend actually asked me to explain Brexit to her the other day. And I said, well, Brexit's, because I like to do topical comedy, so I said, Brexit's a lot like the run-up to the repeal of the Corn Laws in 19th century Britain. <laughs> Top, topical comedy. Uh, in that, a lot of people are going to starve to death for the sake of Tory party unity, but this time it will be the Irish starving us. <laughs> It's never too soon for a potato famine joke, is it? <laughs> Glad you agree. Um, so, guys, I'm not saying that everyone that voted to leave is racist. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. But my, my, my nana voted to leave, and she's a massive fucking racist. Uh, she was telling me the other night, Danny, if the Eastern Europeans want to come over here to our country, they need to live by our country's values. Obviously, this kind of annoyed me. I tried to pick a fight. My mum said, leave your nana alone. She's just from a different era. She doesn't see the world like you do. So what I did was I looked my nana square in the face, and I said, look, nana, if you want to come over here to my era and live in my era, you've got to live by my era's bourgeois, liberal, millennial values. <laughs> You gluten tolerant, <laughs> lactose ingesting, <laughs> builders tea drinking, cunts. <laughs> uh, so Nigel Farage said that the blue passport coming back is great because blue is such a apparently such an iconic colour to the British people. Now the Home Office has already started selling these bad boys, only it doesn't say blue passport on the website, it says blue or black. Apparently, because a lot of the British public don't actually know if the old passport was dark blue or black. <laughs> and so it turns out that this colour is so iconic to the British people, and that we don't know what fucking colour it is. <laughs> Still, it's nice to know that Nigel Farage is colour blind after all. <laughs> Definitely too soon for that. Um, it's not true. Um, Guys, you've been, you've been really nice. I'm going to leave you uh, on this. I, I don't know if you saw, but um, there was a petition a few days after the vote to leave asking the government, government to remove all the French words from these new blue passports. 500 people signed this thing, which doesn't sound like a lot, does it? But that does mean that there are 500 people in Britain that think we have French words in the English language because of the European Union. <laughs> Worrying. Makes you proud to be British, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, but I, I do think they have a point. Uh, the French have contributed nothing to the English language, have they? It's such a fast pass, so they have. <laughs>